The exhibition Jolly Rogers, a symbol of terror and pride, is about the Jolly Roger flag. This is a flag of the skull and crossbones that we think of as being associated with pirates. But the Royal Navy Submarine Service have also been flying Jolly Roger flags for over a hundred years. The Jolly Roger flag that we have in the exhibition is a genuine pirate flag dating back to the 1790s. And this was captured by Admiral Curry, who was working off the north coast of Africa at the time, suppressing the Barbary pirates. It's quite an unusual flag. Uh, we think of the pirate flag as being a black background with the skull and crossbones. But this particular flag is red, which indicated the pirates would show no mercy. So if you didn't submit immediately and surrender, then they would not only take your possessions, but they would also take your lives as well. One of the more unusual items in the exhibition is this nightdress, which is just behind me. Um, and this has been made out of a naval ensign and incorporates the Jolly Roger symbol as well. And this was a present given to Lady Myers on the night of her wedding when she got married to the um, captain of HMS Torbay. And the joke was that her husband-to-be was so obsessed by the Navy um, that she was actually marrying into the service. So they, her friends in the rent actually presented her as a gift on her wedding night. Well, I think they're all quite striking, the, the Jolly Roger flags, but I think one of my favourites, probably the one on my left, which is from HMS Safari. This one is, is one of the biggest that we have on display, and it's probably one of the more atmospheric. It's so crudely made, but it's actually quite bright and colourful as well, and it was actually one that needed an awful lot more conservation work than some of the others as well. So the flying of Jolly Rogers within submarine service has always been a little bit controversial. Um, the submarine service started flying them partly as a provocative response to accusations that the submarine service were pirates themselves. And this was a, an image that they decided to embrace um, and took on that imagery of piracy. And it's actually helped to gel the service a bit as well and create its own culture and identity.